What up, y'all? I'm back with another review, and I'm here to review the collaborative studio album from Alchemist, Mike, and Wiki, entitled Faith is a Rock. Now, I don't think I have to introduce Alchemist to anybody, <clears throat> but I might have to introduce Wiki and Mike to some. Um, I mean, for my ears and for people with like a similar taste, I feel like y'all already know who he is, well, who they are. Um, they're not a duo or anything, but Wiki, uh, I believe both of these brothers are from New York. Um, my, I've reviewed a project of his. He had an EP with your old Drew in like, what, 2016, 2017 entitled What Happened to Fire? Um, it's still on my channel. I know that. Uh, it was like a quick five track EP and uh, that was my I want to say that no, that wasn't my intro to Wiki. My intro to Wiki was on uh, Earl's "I Don't Like Shit, I Don't Go Outside" album. What track was he on? Freaking, hold up. He was on AM slash radio. Yeah, that was my intro to Wiki. Ever since then, it's like he stood out on that track just for being on an album with Earl for me, of course. But his voice—it's very distinct. Like if you know it. Uh, when you first hear it, it's like you'll never forget it. Like, if you know it, you know it. You, you can't mistake that voice. Even though, you know, at the same time, maybe it's that New York shit. So, but, um, and Mike, I've known about Mike since, um, Tears of Joy in 2019. And he, what, he helped, uh, Earl with some rap songs, or Earl kind of got his sound from Mike via some rap song. Well, on, some rap songs by Earl, he kind of got that sound from hanging with Mike earlier, I won't say earlier that year, 2018, but <clears throat> around that time he was hanging with Mike whenever that was. I'm, I'm going to say it was 2017 through 2018. Uh, Mike dropped May God Bless Your Hustle in 2017, like his first project. I want to say I at least saw that cover. But I'm not sure. Black Soap and Renaissance Man, I did not. I was not aware of. And for some reason, I want to say I saw War in My Pen. I want to say I at least saw that uh, cover. But Tears of Joy, I do remember seeing the cover and listening to that project. And every project since. Um, but yeah, glad to finally get a project from Mike under my belt. Uh, like I said, I have a wiki project. And with Alchemist, what do I have? At least Alfredo with Gibbs back in 2020. Let's go ahead and get right in. The first track, Stargate, and I'm really only talking about Wiki's verse here. Um, just talking about how life used to be simple back when he was poor, and um, just he's uh, not mesmerized, but he's or not conflicted, but he's um, just ah, what's the word I'm looking for? Flabbergasted is too freaking much. It's like he's just like. Taken aback, I'd say. Um, wondering, like, why he looks so nice to view, why, why he's in such a spiteful mood, and, like, how on the outside it would seem his life has improved. And he just talks about, like, New York molding him to be who he is, and only back when he was, like, a kid in school, liking weed and rapping and inciting his teachers, I think he said. <laughs> um, but, yeah. The next track, Mayor is a Cop. Well, the next track that I'm reviewing. I did, I'm not talking about every track on here. I didn't hit like on Thug Anthem or on Pray For Him. Every other track, though, I hit the like button on. And I'm only talking about six albums of the ten. Albums. I'm only talking about six songs of the ten on the album. The next track, Mayor is a Cop. Here again, I'm talking about Wiki's verse. And he's just talking about, like, all the problems that need addressing. And... With all the problems that need addressing in the city, the cop mayor used the city funds to quadruple the police force. And it's like, yeah, of course. And of course, not to take anything away from Mike on this track or on Stargate, he did his thing. But for some reason, it was more so wiki that I was paying attention to. Kind of a little more than Mike on the whole of the album, or at least with the tracks that I talk uh, talk about. Um. But on this next track, it's only about Mike that I'm talking about and what he had to say. <clears throat> Odd ways. And Mike is the only brother on this track. 
actually. So there was no wiki verse. He just talks about like his odd ways, like having one tear, so you can't really call it a cry, but he just did it to make himself feel better. Um, having one beer and it turning into five, which from what <clears throat> that's not exactly odd. Um, <laughs> um, having fear when niggas in the car with him. Um, <clears throat> I can't even read my own handwriting right here. Um, Oh, being positioned on top when he was sitting sideways, just odd ways and odd predicaments that he finds himself in, or what we might find himself find him in <clears throat> that he will, will rap about on track. I like it. I don't know what's going on with my voice today. I forget, I keep clearing my throat. <clears throat> and the next track, be realistic. This is like a standout track in terms of the beat for being a little more up tempo and darker. And this is Wiki talking about, well, warning about leeches in the game, um, how they're bloodsuckers. They eat when you bleed, and they feed off your peace of mind. And he said, like, you don't even have to believe me, especially if you can't see my view. Like, not not just his own personal view, but if you're not, like, a, if you're not in the game, he doesn't expect you to be able to relate or see it that way, the way that he would. Even though you can, of course, like, fans know all the time, not like artists do, but they know about how... The business is the business, not the game, not the love of it, but the business, what it'll do to a person or do to an artist, especially if they let them or they get fucked over. Um, and just talking about how, like, you know, be realistic. We are getting older and the stats say that it must be over. But nope, he just keeps going. They keep going and getting better with time like CP3 <laughs> and just not not doing things regular regularly. We'll never do that. And won't settle for the middle tier because there's a higher level for them to to reach. That's what they aspire to. Mess with it. <clears throat> the next track I talk about memory loss. Here I'm talking about both MCs here. Uh, Mike he just talks about how it seems like he's living large, and how he's really in fact is different from a star. But if if you're not with him, it looks different from afar. If you're just somebody viewing, it might look differently. Or if you just hear the name, oh, this dude's a rapper, he must, must have money, right? Must be loaded. Kind of like what Wiki said. It's like, it would see my life has improved, right? But it's like, it's not exactly what you think. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it just talks about losing patience, but keeping going and how there are no quick results in this or in anything. And then we get to Wiki. He talks about how he thought where he is now would be different from where uh, he was when he was growing up, when he was young, and how... He still has some of the same problems that he has to deal with then. He still has to deal with them now. And he just talks about how, well, also talks about how weed helps him mend his mind overall, even with the occasional memory loss and a bit of impairment that it, uh, that are the side effects for him at least. And the next track, well, the last track I'm talking about, which is the last track on the album, One More. I love this as the last track. Wiki said that it's not the encore, in, it's not the encore, <laughs> it's not the encore of the outro though, and he just talks about living it up. Um, but things could go south, like you could lose your job, and you could lose everything, and end up in the pen. But he believes in you, and you'll overcome, and you'll shed away, you'll shed and show the gold that was shrouded over, the gold that's inside you, and. Um, just <clears throat> what did he say right here? Um, it's like, oh yeah, and just persevering, and how there's always one more thing to do before you how you before you let things go, or just let it go, or, or let yourself go, and just uh, not just aspire, but reach new horizons. And Mike talks about how he's lost sight metaphorically, but now he's seeing more. It's cold eyes, but all those, um, all that ice needed was just a torch, and just clever wordplay and things like that. I really love this beat. Beats like this, um, and memory loss, uh, Stargate, Odd Ways. I mean, the beats themselves are what you would expect to hear from Mike to rap over. It's what you'd expect to hear from Alchemist to produce, and for Wiki, in a sense, yeah, it's kind of what you'd expect to hear him rap over especially with the earl even though that was almost a decade ago now even with that rub you can kind of hear expect to hear him on those type of beats i'm not sure about his career 
before the Earl feature. But um, yeah, I like this project. I do. I almost didn't review it. I was back and forth between reviewing this and the Earl and uh, Alchemist collab project. Voidier. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's French for Tell the Truth. Um, but yeah, I like this project. And if you've heard it, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and what you think about my review on it. If you haven't heard it, I definitely recommend that you check it out. Then come back and let me know what you think about it and my review on it. <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much it, y'all. Be sure to hit the like button if you like this video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and like the content that you see. Uh, check the description. Links are down there uh, as far as connecting with me further outside of YouTube. And that's pretty much it. Thank y'all for watching. And I will see y'all next time. Love you. Be safe.